What's up guys, it's your boy Milan Miguel. Back at it again with another video. Today's episode 32 of season two of the AC Milan vlog series. So here we go. Here we go. So match day 32, Milan take on Sassuolo, who has been a very decent side in Serie A. They've been climbing up the table and could potentially even make it into the Europa League this season. We had a standard starting lineup, Gigi Odonnarumma in goal, Davide Calabria making his return from his injury. Not really sure why, you know, Pioli decided to start him. I thought it might have been too early, but he started him over Kalulu. Kair and Tamori at the center back. And then we had Diogo Dalot, Theo Hernandez, Ismail Benacer, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic out of the squad. In the double pivot, we had Meite and Kessier. And then we had Salmakas, Hakan Chalanoglu, and Ante Rebic on the left. And then Rafael Leao at top. Hakan seemed a bit more lively in this game. So it was a pretty decent game. In the 30th minute, Hakan Chalanoglu would have an outrageous strike out of nowhere. I pointed out in my last preview that Hakan Chalanoglu needs to support this team. He needs to provide something for this team because he hasn't provided anything. He's still on eight assists and he's been on eight assists for quite some time now. His last goal that he scored was against Fiorentina, which was a couple match days ago, which was great. But we have lacked seeing consistency from Hakan Chalanoglu. So seeing him score a goal in the 30th minute was great. I think after that, Milan continued to, you know, put the pressure on. And it was a pretty good first half, in my opinion. Created opportunities. One thing about Milan is that they didn't make the most of the opportunities. Halftime came, they were winning 1-0. It was cool. Second half came, we came out on the back burner out and gunning we were trying to find another opportunity to score we created multiple chances um even rafael leao had that one layaway to ante rebic it was a terrible pass but had he laid the ball off better to ante rebic that would have easily been 2-0 up for us in the game now with that being said as we venture towards the 60th minute um it seems like the players are looking fatigued and visibly tired Kessier looked tired um, a bunch of other players looked tired and I was expecting that you know Stefano Pioli would make the substitutions as he did against the game in Genoa where he implemented subs at the right time but he didn't do so and in the end that kind of cost us the game in the 76th minute Giacomo Raspadori manages to find the back of the net now on this play I would say that Everybody's at fault. I would say Meite's at fault because this tackle was kind of lazy. Uh, Tomori with his positioning, Kair was ball watching. Everybody's to blame, but it was a complete, absolute disaster and a poor goal for Milan to concede. Um, so Sassuolo won, Milan won in the 76th minute. And you're thinking, yo, Milan needs to get a grip on this game. Yes, we conceded the goal, but you know, we can take a draw away or we can push on and find a goal as we've done in the past, but that's not what happened. Now, Pioli did make a change right before that goal happened. He subbed off Hakan Chalunoglu and put in Rade Krunic, um, but I don't think that was an effective sub and I think that we needed more than just that. He also did put in Mario Mandzukic and take off Ante Rebic right before that goal was scored as well. I think that at that point when Pioli made these substitutions, it was kind of already too late. Um, he should have implemented those subs in about the 60th minute so they would get that, you know, 10 minutes to adapt to the game. In the 76th minute, you know, 74th minute making those subs, it's kind of pointless. Sassuolo, once they got that equalizer, they got that confidence boost and they went out and gunning ready to win that game. In the 83rd minute, Raspadori strikes again, single-handedly dismantling Milan. There's nothing you can say. It was just a poor performance. We, we let the game slip from our hands. We were leading the game for 75 minutes, and then we just let it get away from us. So Raspadori scores a goal. 
and then after Raspadori scores a goal, Pioli decides that he's gonna make three big changes. He puts in Kalulu for Calabria, Brahim Diaz for Meite, and then he puts in Castillejo for Salmakers. At that point, Pioli, those subs aren't gonna do anything. We did have an opportunity towards the later end of the game to, you know, score, but it didn't really work out. A massive loss of three points for us because teams drop points. Roma drop points, Atalanta drop points, Lazio drop points. We needed the three points and not looking so hot for us. But this is Serie A, anything can happen. I think Pioli not making those subs earlier definitely cost us the game. Uh, the momentum of the game shifted and Sassuolo took it and they ran away with it. Yet Zerbi had a point to prove with the Super League and all that. He didn't even want to play this game. But for him to come to San Siro and make a statement with his Sassuolo team and beat Milan, you know, I would say that I don't even want to give player ratings because at this point of the season, it's all or nothing. All gas, no breaks. You got to give it all you got because you don't want this to be the season where we end up missing out on top four like the Gattuso season where we missed out by one point because we just took our foot off the pedal we need to be like the Milan of the first season I understand you know it's the end of the season Milan has had a long season with Europa League starting earlier than others we've played more games we've, we've gone to extra time all that I understand but Milan man if you guys want to be back in top four we need to do better this is not enough you know into drop points as well which is great but we need to do better that's really all i have for you guys forza milan peace